For this plank, we're going to really focus on setting proper posture through the torso. Um, so what we want is we want hips tucked underneath, rib cage down, so we're getting the rib cage stacked right on top of the hips there. Um, we're going to also have some reference points so that you can engage and feel all the right muscles that you want to. Um, so what I'm going to have you do is you're going to take a ball in this example. If you don't have a ball, you can squeeze the pillow or anything to just create a little pressure. Um, we're going to squeeze it as hard as you can between your knees. It's going to help activate the core a little bit more. And then I want you to get against a wall and you're going to actually push your heels into the wall. You can even kind of push back and kind of dig up. Like you can think if you have mud on the back of your shoes, you're trying to scrape that mud off the back of your shoes. This is going to help you find the hamstring. So you feel a little hamstring, you feel a lot of core. And you're gonna feel little shoulders as well because that's what's holding you up with your arms. So we're gonna keep a little bend in the knees on this one um, just to keep you out of that extension here. Sometimes when legs go all the way straight, you extend through the back and you start feeling the back a little more and not activating those core muscles quite as well as you could. So we'll go on your forearms. Forearms are gonna be parallel to each other. Hips are gonna be a little bit past your knees here. Um, Focus on scooping that tailbone underneath or scooping those hips under for like back pockets, go to the back of the knees. It's gonna help activate the core. Again, we're driving those heels back and up to find those hamstrings. Then from here, we're gonna lift those knees just about an inch off the ground. So in this position, I'm keeping a straight line through my head. So I'm not rounding down here. I'm not joining my chin out here. I want the head right in line, like crown of the head right in line with the rib cage. And I'm just gonna breathe through this. So I wanna breathe into that tension and then with each exhale, I'm bracing my abs even tighter. So focus on keeping that pressure through the heels, keep that pressure through the forearms, squeeze that ball tight, breathe through this, you feel mostly in the core. If it starts to creep into your back at all, most likely you're falling into this position a little bit. So just reset, find that good core position where those hips are under a little more, and then you can start again. You want this all in the core, nothing in the low back. 